what do out of state sellers have to keep in mind when they sell property in Rhode Island? Tell us about that. Well, we, we've got this um, this uh, withholding um, requirements. Um, the, the statute is 44 dash, not that you need to memorize this, but 44 dash 30 dash 71.3. And, and uh, as a, an out of state um, resident or, um, or company selling Rhode Island real property, you fall under the uh, you know the umbrella of the statute, which requires you to um, uh, have to show to the division of taxation why a withholding of um, uh, some of your proceeds it's six percent um, of the net proceeds um, of the sale. What usually happens, and it happens a lot. I mean, more happens. Let, let's give. Let, I'll give a couple examples. I mean, there's there's of course there's the, the uh, the regular person that now has moved out of state um, and uh, and that's selling uh, their their property moved to Florida, let's say, right? And so we get that a lot. That's a very common thing. Um, and then we have uh, you know like a company that's selling their 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 property or or an REO that's you know like a um, you know a, a liquidating their their asset that's in Rhode Island. And so I that's an important conversation to have uh, with um, uh, the listing agent because. You, they need to be aware of um, of this withholding because you know why would you want to have an extra six percent of your proceeds pulled out of the uh, the sale and paid the division of taxation then file have to file a return to get some of that money back um, you know the, the 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 better thing would be to guide them you know, right before the closing or before the listing to say um, don't claim residency. Uh, you might be down there. That's fine. You can sign a notarized document anywhere you are. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, the state that you eventually will declare as your your residency. Just don't declare it yet until the property is sold. And that way, we don't have to hold back um, proceeds from the sale. So that's a, that's a really important consideration. Now, if you've already declared residency because you had to, maybe for work or something. Um, then we just, uh, the goal here is to, or to, in general, I mean, anybody who's handling this uh, side of the transaction uh, for a seller is going to say, all right, look, um, what is your basis in the property? What did you buy it for? Okay, what what are your capital improvements that you put into the property? Um, you know, let's just figure that out. Or what are the expenses of the sale um, of this particular sale? Now, you can't call an expense like uh, landscaping, um, you know, like uh, paying your real estate taxes, paying your water and sewer. That's that's not a capital expenditure. That's that's not um, you know something that can fall into this. It has to be something more than that. And you know, when you say capital expenditure, you know, you changed a, you, you you made an improvement of some sort to the property during your ownership. That would that would count. That that gets added to the basis. And then you know, we do the math. We take the uh, uh, the net sales price after the expenses of the sale of the sale, you know, that you're that we're actually doing right now, um, minus the basis, minus the capital improvements. And now we've got a number um, that is kind of like the, the the gain. OK, or it could be the loss, you know, if it's upside down. Yeah. So then that form um, gets filed with the uh, division of taxation prior to closing. Um, you can't do it. Uh, I mean, you can do it at closing. Like, let's say if the seller just doesn't have their act together, uh, wasn't even contemplating this as being an issue. Um, and they just said, well, you know, just just take the 6% of the net um, without filing um, these documents. I'll have my CPA file a return and get some of that money back. So that's a, that's another option. You can do that, absolutely. Um, but the better way to do it is whittled it down before. 